What? Marvel have done a horror film? That can't work. Surely. Let's talk about it. Everyone, Big Paulie here. I just got out of seeing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That's a tongue twister if ever I've seen one. Yes, uh, directed by Evil Dead Man himself, Sam Raimi. Uh, what can I say? Music, uh, Danny Elfman, fantastic composer. Love all the Beetlejuice and, and Batman stuff. Um, this is a visual treat. I, I just said it in Cineworld. I'm just a little bit miffed with myself now as to not having watched it in 3D because if you have seen it in 3D, it's probably, holy shit, I'm going to rectify that. I'm going to see it again in 3D. Maybe IMAX 3D, who knows? But definitely need to see this in 3D. Um, Doctor Strange gets sucked into like a multiverse um, and he has to save this young woman called America Chavez. Uh, she's got special powers. Along the way, of course, we've got Wong. We've also got Wanda as well. And I, I just want to touch a little bit upon um, Wanda. Now, I think you're going to get the best out of this film if you've seen two things. Uh, the uh, Disney Plus animated show, What If?, specifically for some characters, and also WandaVision, mainly WandaVision. There is a, a, a main plot line in this film that might confuse you if you haven't seen WandaVision, the series. Uh, you're going to want to know what the hell's going on, because obviously it doesn't carry on from the previous Marvel movies. So yes, WandaVision is definitely a plus, a Disney plus. Um, to get the best out of understanding what's going on in the film. Uh, yes, I am sweating a bit. Uh, the car's been locked up for two hours and it's bloody hot out. <laughs> Plus, I'm drinking a bloody hot drink as well. So, uh, yes, I'm a little bit uh, perspiring, yes. <laughs> so, yes, uh, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, two hours, it was probably one of the shorter Marvel films. I think it was like two hours and five minutes, something like that. I think the the running time was perfect. I don't think it needed to be any longer. Um, there were some absolutely amazing visuals in this film. There was, I'm not going to go in too much into detail, but when you're talking about the multiverse, you're talking about multiple multiverses. And yeah, we get to see them. Some great action. Um, there's not an overly amount of comedy in the film. It's not a Guardians of the Galaxy comedy type uh, film, you know, with uh, throwbacks, uh, but uh, it's mainly a horror drama done Marvel style, uh, obviously by Sam Raimi, and you see that. You see Sam Raimi's hand brought into this film, um, especially like in the last hour. You're like, what? This is very different than all the Marvel films I've seen before. But it gave it something fresh and it kept it, kept it, I don't know. Um, I'm just mumbling now because um, I've only just got out of the cinema. It's still going around my head. And to be perfectly honest, this was a brilliant Marvel movie. This was, I know a lot of people didn't like Eternals and maybe uh, Shang-Chi and Black Widow. And you've kind of like... You're thinking that, you know, everything up to end game was, you know, it was on a rise. And then when we got into phase four, it was going down. This picks it right back up again. I hope they continue this momentum with Thor and um, and uh, everything else that comes after that. And uh, I'm looking forward to Thor. But yes, this is a very exciting, action-packed, mind-bending 
visual treat. So I would definitely advise to go and see that. But like I say, it's probably best if you've... Why do people have to walk past with radios blaring out? We don't want to listen to what shit you listen to. Ah, oh, dear me, yeah. It's the same as when people drive with a car. Just have it at a normal level. I'm starting a rant. I'm starting a Doctor Strange rant. <laughs> yes, anyway, I'm not going to say any more um, because I don't want to give any spoilers away or hit or, 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 or say something that I didn't think was, you know, that thought was not a spoiler, but if, is in fact is because you know what I'm like with spoilers. Yeah, so sp it's completely spoiler-free uh, review, but I really enjoyed it. Like I say, visuals out of the ballpark. Definitely, if you get the opportunity, watch it in 3D or watch it in IMAX. And if you can, IMAX 3D. I hope to uh, to rectify that in a couple of days. Uh, but so far as uh, Marvel movies, yes, yeah, right up there. It's right up there for me. I had a ball of a time. And um, it's going to kind of like get me into the wanting to see the Sam Raimi movies now because I've never seen an Evil Dead movie. Never seen an Evil Dead movie. Uh, and I want to see more stuff by Sam Raimi on the horror side. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I can't say anything else. Oh, yeah, uh, one thing. Um, there's two end credit scenes. There's one mid credit scene, which is, a oh, my God, where are they going with this? And there's just a funny bit at the end. Uh, it doesn't have any link into any future projects, I hope. <laughs> uh, but there was some... All I'm going to say, the last thing I'm going to say is if you was expecting people to show up, some cameos or some other characters, brace yourself. Yes. Yeah, because those characters were brilliant. Some, okay, but two of them, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Fantastic. Okay, so they are. That's my thoughts uh, and my little review on... Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to carry on drinking me, me coffee. Um, so far as rating, I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10. Um, getting stuck in other universes. <laughs> yeah, so until the next video. Bye-bye.